Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video 20. If you're having a 4C Max generation from year 2012 all the way to year 2019. And if you need to find where the front crash impact airbag sensors are located, stay with us. We will explain that in this video today. And one common thing that you need to uh, avoid guys, okay, when replacing or disconnecting airbag sensors, because otherwise, okay, you can cause damage, you can explode airbags, you can even kill somebody if it's in the vehicle. So, uh, if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbags, okay, do not do that uh, job, guys. Consider this entertaining video and not a how-to video. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us, guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make it a used to do 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. That way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. Another thing, if you want to save quite a bit of money on car parts, tools, uh, anything for your car guys check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's go ahead and start on it now so when we open the hood on that Ford C Max we support it guys right here every time you work on airbags guys it's uh, advised to disconnect the car battery for at least one hour guys okay before you do that because if you don't disconnect the car battery uh, you may short things out you may uh, explode things so you may damage the electrical system on these modern cars it really matters which battery terminal you disconnect and reconnect if you do it the wrong way you can cause damage to the electrical system modules computers and that can be super costly and expensive to fix so we put a link to a video that explains which battery terminal to disconnect first i'll put the link in the description of the video below once you do that guys if you see right here okay you come right there on the passenger side that sensor right here that's your uh, front right passenger side impact airbag crash sensor right here and if you come on the left side on the driver side you have one more just like that next to the air uh, intake holes right here so you can see practically they have only one nut holding them then you can get them out disconnect them replace them if you need to uh, sometimes even though they're the same part number okay if you buy them used sometimes guys they may not work you need to make sure that they match for your VIN number okay because we had a case where we had exact same matching part number they didn't work we went to uh, online we bought one specifically for our VIN number okay came and everything was perfect so hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you having uh, to do that thank you for watching and see you guys next time 